hi guys welcome back to my channel and back to another ride with me vlog today as you can see i'm riding mr philo oh my goodness it's actually been so long since philo has been on my channel i know a lot of you guys really love philo and honestly so do i is definitely one of my favorite lesson horses to ride especially since i've gotten more comfortable with his canter before his canter used to like actually really scare me and even though i loved philo and i loved spending time with him i would have preferred to not ride him just because of his canter but that's honestly not the case anymore I actually find his canter a lot less scary now and I'm definitely better at sitting his canter I used to find it quite uncomfortable but now it's a little bit more comfortable it's still a difficult canter to sit to but it's definitely more comfortable than I had once thought it was um, so Philo was in a lesson earlier today so he's pretty clean so I'm just giving him a quick hard brush down and just picking at his feet making sure there's not any rocks or dirt in there so Philo is definitely the tallest horse that I have ever ridden. He's not the tallest horse in the barn, but he's definitely the tallest horse that I've ridden. And he is 16'2", for those of you who are wondering. And he is also a cross between a Clydesdale and an Arabian. And I feel like I can definitely see that in him. He's got the Clydesdale stature and his face kind of reminds me of an Arabian a little bit. Now that Philo is all tacked up, I'm going to get his bridle on and then we can head into our lesson. Philo absolutely loves his A. He always munches on it like he's never been fed a day in his life. Um, so it's kind of difficult to bridle him when he has giant mouthfuls of hay and he's trying to go back for more. But I do the best that I can, but there always ends up still being a little bit of hay in his mouth. Now that we're all ready, it's time to leave the barn and head into the arena and start our lesson. Later. Later. Philo is also really funny in the sense that he's so slobbery. All horses are, but for some reason Philo's like extra slobbery. Every time I touch this guy, I end up with slobber and grass stains all over me. He's just so messy. Every time I take some time away from riding Philo and I finally get back on him, like my first thought is always like, wow, he is so tall. And he really is, like he is such a big guy. And it's such a difference, especially if you ride a pony and you go to Philo, it really makes a big difference. And he's got such long strides as well. Um, and it just feels so different, takes a little bit of getting used to. It's been a little while, yeah. I was thinking about that today. I was like, oh, I hope I'm on Philo.
I know. Oh my goodness. So today the dust was so bad and Philo's giant feet were definitely not helping. Yeah. So Too late. Whoa, Philo. Okay. So our first exercise was working over these poles in two point and then immediately going to sit trot to weave. Um, and we're having a little bit of a traffic jam here, but I was actually having a little bit of trouble with this exercise with him. I was having a hard time getting him to slow down enough that I could weave him through the poles. And the fact that he's so large definitely doesn't help. So yeah, if I got him to slow down enough to weave through the pools, we were breaking to a walk. It was hard to maintain that trot and get him to weave. I know. So this exercise actually wasn't that hard without stirrups. We do posting no stirrups all the time. What would make this really challenging is if we did up, up, down without stirrups. I don't even know if that would be possible. I mean, it would be really hard. We do it with stirrups, but we have yet to do it without. Whoa. Oh my goodness, the dust. This is your fault, Philo. He's like, what? I don't get it. I know, like I actually can't see. I know. Now that we've let the dust settle and opened the door for some ventilation, we go back to the exercise. Mm -hmm. Don't let your horses spook the open door.
Okay. So this exercise was challenging enough as it is and to add on to that challenge, it was definitely difficult to remember your posting diagonals. Every time that you were turning, you needed to make sure that you were sitting for two bumps to change it. So it was a challenging exercise, but it was definitely a good one. And then we're done, yeah? Okay guys, and now it's almost time for my favorite part, of course, the canter. Just gonna let the dust settle for a minute so that we can actually see where we're going. Then I'm going to double check my girth. Always wanna double check your girth. Don't want that saddle sliding off while you're cantering. That would be very scary. Um, and then we'll go and canter. Something about Philo, he doesn't really have trouble picking up his right lead canter. Sometimes he does pick up the right lead, but what he does do is he just refuses to pick it up. So you can see here I'm asking in every corner and it takes a little while before he finally gets it, but when he does get it, it is the correct lead. He doesn't have trouble with it, he just doesn't want to do it. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Philo is a massive corner cutter as it is, and just after that pull there, we did almost crash into my trainer. Whoops. Left, one at a time though, because we're going to do pull backs. So you're going to take your rainbow pull, pull back to red. Oh. Roll back to rainbow pull. Turn kind of like where the poop trail is. Yeah. <laughs> You want to go first or me? Do you want me to give you your phone or how it's going? Watch out, follow him in. Watch out, watch out, watch out, he's going to kick. Oh. Sorry. Let me see. He was on the wrong lead, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so Philo is actually the only horse that I, I can actually feel when he's on the wrong lead. It's just very, very obvious. Other horses, I can't tell without looking, but for Philo, for some reason, I can feel it. I don't know.
really good. It looked really nice, yeah. That felt really good. Yeah. You're starting to get the, the idea of feeling in the kitchen. Yeah, holding yeah, yeah. When to hold, when to give. Yeah. Ooh, um, he's gonna be. Backs were a little bit wide though. Okay, okay, okay. You didn't follow the picture. <laughs> He's a wide boy, what can I say? But I feel like he's gonna be fun to jump. Yeah. Maybe a little scary at first, but fun once you learn how to yeah. deal with it. Hi, though. You want a cookie or a carrot? Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Um, they definitely weren't true rollbacks. Our circle was quite wide, um, but this time around, I'll try and do it a little tighter. It is hard, though. Oh boy. I can feel the difference now. It feels good. <laughs> His canter used to scare me, but like I actually find it really comfortable now. No, he wants treats. Good boy. So that time actually felt so much better. Our rollbacks were a little bit tighter. Um, not tight enough, I don't think. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh man. Oh man, hey buddy. Hi. But the main thing from that that I really got is I feel like I'm starting to really feel more in the canter as when approaching poles, like feeling more when to hold them back a little bit or when to give to make sure that we get the right number of strides up to the pole. I've never actually like felt that before and I'm finally starting to, it's all starting to click what? and come together and make oh, sense. I just so feel funny. like these last few months, I've really started to see a difference in my canter. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm so happy. Um, so we're just finishing up our lesson now. Of course, we're going to cool down for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then you also have to do poop duty. If your horse pooped, you gotta clean it up. Um, but then we're just going to head back into the barn and untack. Come on. So unfortunately for poor Philo, there's no room in the barn currently. So I'm just gonna set him up in the outdoor cross ties until there's some room for him to go in where he can have his rain and I'll untack him and give him a little bit of a groom down. I'm just gonna give him a handful of grain because the poor guy really wants his food and he's impatient and he did so good today so he deserves it. But that is my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. He's so handsome.
I just want to kiss. Oh. Can you kiss? He just wants food. Bye guys.